If like me you've recently built yourself a new PC, the last step is to install your operating system. In this video I'll be showing you how to install Windows 10. All you'll need is a USB stick to install it onto and a Windows 10 product key. To start you'll need a computer which is currently working and connected to the internet. Have your USB stick plugged in and visit this Windows 10 installation media webpage. The link is in the description. To start, click download tool now. Open the exe file that it downloads and click yes. The Windows 10 installation program will now begin. The license terms and conditions will now appear. If you agree with these, then click accept. We're going to be creating a new installation media, so click the second option here. Choose your language, edition and architecture. We're using a USB flash drive for the media. Now select the drive in this list. It should appear like it does on the screen now. Your download will now begin. This can take a bit of time, so go away and make yourself a cup of tea and come back, we'll speed the video up. Your media is now ready to use, so we can take this USB drive out of this machine and now boot up your new machine. Once you turn your new computer on, you do not have a boot device set in the BIOS yet, so you will see this error message now. Once you're into your BIOS, you now need to find where the boot options are. Here, you need to set boot option 1 as the USB drive you've plugged into your machine. Once you have set this, exit the BIOS. Reboot the PC and you'll see the Windows 10 installation options. Choose your options for languages, times and then click next. Insert your Windows product key here and click next. More terms to read. If you're okay with them, accept them and click next. As we're installing into a fresh machine, choose the bottom option here. Choose which hard drive you want to install the operating system onto. On this PC I'm using my first drive for the OS as it's a solid state drive. This will allow Windows to boot up quicker and run much faster. Let the installation run, this could take a few minutes. More questions to answer here. Choose your region, your keyboard layout, and if you're connected to the internet, choose your internet connection now. If you already have a Microsoft account, you can sign in here now. If you don't, you can create an account. For purposes of this video, I'm going to use an offline account to go through the next steps quicker. You can now set your username and your password and then answer any security questions to secure your account. We're almost there now. Windows will now ask you a few questions about how you want to use it, what you want to enable and so on. Read the questions and you can decide what you want to do. Choose the relevant option and click next. We're now all booted up. I'm going to change the display resolution quickly and then run you through a few other key things to look at post installation. The internet works, so we're all good here. Open the start menu by clicking the Windows logo at the bottom left of your screen, then scroll up to the device manager. Here you have all the devices that are currently plugged into your computer. If you've got a graphics card in there, you'll need to check it's properly installed here under display adapters. Another thing to check here is to make sure your storage is all set up. If you remember earlier, I had two hard drives to choose from, but only one is currently showing. Let's get the other one showing then. Hit the Windows button again and go to disk management. You'll now be able to see the other hard drives in your PC, which are currently not installed. Select this disk here with unallocated space and click New Sample Volume. Select this disk here with unallocated space and click New Sample Volume. Click Next. The volume should match up here. If this is right, click Next again. Assign the driver letter you want it to appear as and click Next. You can also rename the drive next to the volume label here. You can now see that the hard drive now appears under this PC on the right hand side. You're good to go with your new storage and everything is now set up.